so a lot of people like to use really tiny brushes when they're cutting corners and things like that. This is an easy corner to do because we're going to put crown molding up there. But I recommend using, this is a 4-inch brush, at least use a 3-inch brush because you're just going to get more paint on it. And then what I like to do too, here's a pro tip for painting, is put your paint in a bucket. Not out of the can because it doesn't, and then when you put your paint down into the bucket, just slap the side of the brush against the bucket like this. That'll hold more paint. And then, as you're painting the corners, you'll just, it'll go faster. See how fast you can put on paint with a four inch? By just slapping it on, it holds a lot of paint. You can even cut with four inches. A lot of the pros always use four inch brushes, even for cutting corners, because it'll carry more paint and you have to go back to your, back to your bucket less. So that's a pro tip on painting. Use a big, the biggest brush you can handle. Don't use the smallest because it's just hard to work with and it's going to take you a lot longer. All right, I'll be back in a second and I'm going to show you how to use a roller. John, back with a couple more pro tips on painting. If you can find this type of roller handle, it is awesome because it just spreads out to the different heights and distances you need. Um, versus using a wood one that you're bumping into furniture or hitting another wall. This is just a small space you're going to do, so I'm going to use a 9-inch roller. But if you have a big room to do or a ceiling to do, go get that 18-inch roller. The 18-inch roller, I don't have one with me, I'll show you in another video on it. But it has where the handle comes out on both ends of the roller, so it's quite long and it's really easy to work with. Now a while ago, a paint company came out with a, a crazy idea how you should roll a wall. They told you to go like this and like this. That, that to me is... Um, not the way to roll a wall. The way to roll a wall is get your paint on your, on your tray, start in the middle, go all the way up, and then all the way down, and then all the way up, and then just work out that edge there. And then your next one, you're going to overlap just, you get a little, little space between the, that row and the next row. So you're going to start about an inch out, you're going to go all the way up. All the way down, and then work your way back and clean up that spot, that was the space. The nice thing about this method is you don't miss anything. And you can see how the dust is blending in. And also with the primer phase, if you've missed anything in mud, even like some wine, something like that, you can clean it up after you put the primer on. Just go back and get some mud, put it on that space, feather it out, and then with, before you put your final coat of paint on, you can fix it. Hey, we'll see you at the Habitat stores.